City bragging rights were on the line as both the senior and junior high school football seasons came to a close at Port Arthur Stadium today and the Churchill Trojans returned to defend their crowns in both the junior and senior divisions. Unfortunately, a big unbeaten streak came to a close in the junior division this afternoon. Some modifications have to be made to the gardens before the event takes place March 23rd through the 25th. Over $10,000 in corner padding as well as the track have to be installed. Competitors from as far away as California, Australia, and Illinois, as well as the local Thunder Bay Speed Skating Club, will be taking part. Tickets can be obtained at the Gardens box office. From Grandview Arena, Randy Sheffy, TVT Sports. Remember the names Kirk Allen and Thunder Bay's John Lockie are those two are expected to form the nucleus of our national ski jumping team in the years to come. Both will be participating in the World Junior Ski Jumping Championship scheduled for France later this month. According to National Junior Ski Jumping Coach Horace Bulau, a top 10 finish by either is a definite possibility. From Big Thunder, Randy Sheffy, TBT Sports. Ryan Zadro's dream could soon turn into reality should he impress and make the grade at the upcoming Canadian National Tryout Camp and going on in Windsor. It would also bring him a step closer to realizing his goal of representing Canada in the Pan Am Games and possibly even the Olympics. From Port Arthur Stadium, Randy Sheffy, TBT Sports. Power appeared in 26 of the team's 38 games and is set as the number one goalie. A late season injury to his right knee which required surgery probably affected where he went in the draft. But, uh... A lot of positives for Italia Juventus as they enter their first playoff contest in the Molson Super Soccer Alliance this weekend at Fort William Stadium against Intel Inter. The team is on an eight-game roll, having gone undefeated, and they will enjoy a home field advantage in a winner else situation. Intel Inter, the visitors from Winnipeg, are on a roll themselves. This season, they hold a 2-0-1 record against the local side, but according to Juventus stopper Frank LaCaria, that could all change because Juventus will definitely be out for revenge. Team captain Steve Rislinski and fellow veterans heavyweight Mike Curlew and OUAA All-Star and Eddie Zinger are expected to be the core of uh, Lakehead University's wrestling team this season. And they'll be joined by some impressive newcomers as they head off to Western Ontario to battle the Mustangs, the defending CIAU champions in the first wrestling meet of the season uh, this weekend. Expectations are high and head coach Francis Clayton is hoping to harvest some medals come CIAU time. It's the ultimate test of man and machine against the elements as the three-day International Snowmobile 500 wrapped up its final leg from Grand Marais to Old Fort William today. Jack Struthers of Boise, Idaho repeats as the overall champ. Doug Glasher also of Idaho was second. Optimus and Surrounds and Westers who bring a number seven ranking in the country into their series opener with Waterloo this weekend at the Fieldhouse. Look for a run and gun attack as Lakehead attempt to run up the score and run the Warriors into the ground. Based on their fine fourth place effort at the Winnipeg Classic this past weekend, Lakehead definitely has the talent to win their division according to head coach Stu Julius. Tomorrow we'll center in on the possible solutions to a disturbing trend in Canadian University athletics and we'll also determine whether the current athletic funding problems are here to stay. From Lakehead University, Randy Sheffy, TBT Sports.